Welcome to The Basics of Cells or Cell Basics by Katrina Sherbet. And hopefully some of you have already seen a cell. Um, the plant cell looks like this and the animal cell looks like this. In this video we are going to discuss cell theory and we'll also discuss similarities among cells. And these are pretty brief. We'll go more in depth about the cell's organelles and just the basics of those. And we'll briefly touch upon plant versus animal cells. And there'll be recommended videos that will go in depth on these topics. So cell theory is a theory that explains the relationship between cells and living things or organisms. And there's three basic tenets. The first one is number one, all organisms are made up of one or more cells, either unicellular or multicellular. Like this dog here, he's made up of many cells, which means he is a multicellular organism. Number two, the cell is the basic unit of structure of organization in organisms. It also is where all the life processes happen. Number three, all cells come from pre-existing cells, meaning only cells can make cells. And here we go, we can see cellular uh, division happening, where it grows, it starts to divide, and then you get where you once had one cell, two cells. Similarities among cells. So we have all these different types of cells. We have red blood cells, nerve cells, uh, muscle cells, heart cells, but they all have something in common. We even have animal and plant cells and bacteria cells. There are many different types of cells, but all cells share similar characteristics. For example, all of them have DNA, cytoplasm, organelles, and cell membranes, even though they may look very different or belong to very different organisms. Cell organelles. So break down the word, you have the word organ, and you elles, which mean tiny. So an organelle is a structure in a cell with a specific function, kind of like organs in our human bodies. The cell has little organs that can't survive outside of the cell, but are very helpful, like in this animal cell. And here we have a animal cell, and all those little things are organelles that make up the cell. We're only going to discuss a few that all male schoolers should know, but there are many more organelles. So let's start with the cell wall. This is a picture from a microscope. Um, cells are microscopic and the outlining that really brighter yellow part is a cell wall. The cell wall surrounds the cell membrane and provides structure. The cell wall is found in all plant cells and some bacteria cells and for plants it's what gives plants their strength. Um, it is what wood is made out of or cork. Now the cell membrane the cell membrane is found in both in plants and animal cells. And you can see it here in this microscope slide, very thin. But the cell membrane separates the inside of the cell from the outside environment. It lets some materials pass in and out of the cell. It's like if the cell was a club, it would be the bouncer. It only allows good things in and it gets the good thing, bad things out, and it keeps it out as well. Now that is a vacuole. A vacuole, as we can see here, has been stained in that slide on the lower right hand corner, and it's been stained pink. All the other organelles are inside, but you can't see it because it has been stained. The vacuole stores water, food, and waste. In a plant cell, it supports the cell um, so it's full. Even though the cell wall keeps it strong, um, the vacuole gives it pressure, kind of like when you blow up a balloon, um, if it's not all the way 
blown up, it gets squishy. Now, here is the chloroplast. Gorgeous picture of chloroplast. Again, microscopic. They are naturally green. They are green because of a substance called chlorophyll. And chloroplast catches the energy from the sun and store it in a sugar molecule during photosynthesis. This is the site of photosynthesis. This is what makes the plant food. Very important. Chloroplasts are also what makes the plant green. Now, the next organelle we're going to look at is ribosomes. Ribosomes are those itsy bitsy dots we see from this electron microscope slide. And they are um, little protein factories. They make the building blocks of the cell. The cell is made up of many protein molecules, and this is where they are made. They're found all over. Now we have the mighty, mighty mitochondria, or just mitochondria. The mitochondria is kind of like a powerhouse for the cell. It produces most of the cell's energy because it's a site of cellular respiration. This is where we turn oxygen into carbon dioxide and where we break down our food into energy that we can use, or that energy is also known as ATP. Now, here is the cell's nucleus. Now, nucleus means center, and it's not to be confused with the nucleus of an atom. Here it is, stained in the cell slide, and the nucleus is like the brain of the cell. It controls the activities of the cell because it contains the hereditary material, or DNA. Again, very important. Without this, the cell wouldn't know what to do. And it has actually several layers to it. But that's for another time. Now, we are going to look at the jelly inside of the cell, or the cytoplasm. It is just like a fluid that is inside the cell, and all the organelles and compounds of the cell needs are inside the cytoplasm. Now, to discuss just briefly plants versus animal cells, I'm going to be asking you to look more in depth on this on your own in workshop, but there are many similarities and differences between animal and plant cells. And this video would be way too long if we were to continue discussing this. But there are additional videos that you can find on my website that will help you find the differences. Make sure you complete the task on plants versus animal cells when it's assigned and to know your cell organelle structures and functions.